everyone. Okay, we have some very intriguing projects coming up. Some of them you will look at and you'll think it looks really complicated. To some of you it may be complicated, but as long as you do your best, that's all that matters and you're having fun while you do it. So one of the first projects coming up is some string art and this is the image that you'll be using for your template and this is on a piece of scrap wood your wood looks a little bit better than this <laughs> okay if you can see that you can see the panda bear okay now I just did it on the natural wood if you want to paint your wood do so before you start knocking nails in otherwise it gets very difficult trying to fill in around nails you end up lots of drips and splodges so paint it first or stain it first if that's what you want to do then you're going to your template will come on a normal size sheet of paper like this okay when you get your piece of wood let's turn this over what you need to do is take your template fit it onto your piece of wood so that you've got probably about a pinky's width around the edge all the way around so you would bring this down a little bit then you're going to crease it along the edge there you would do the same on this side crease it then you would do the same on this side run your finger along it and then also the top I mean yours will have a your pieces of wood that my husband very graciously cut for you they are all about the size of this so once you've marked those edges then you would go ahead and fold it in just like I've done on this one fold all your edges over so that it's a perfect fit for your piece of wood then you'll lay it on your wood use some painters tape just to tape on the edges so that it keeps it in place so that your spacing for your nails is nice and even okay so you do that then you each get a pot of nails these are one inch nails they have a head on them this is the best kind of hammer to use I like these little dinky hammers they're quite heavy and they will do the trick so then all you have to do is find your go to your corners first I know they're rounded corners but then you need to knock your nails in. The wood that you have is a soft pine, so your nails should go in pretty easily. This piece of wood is so ancient <laughs> that I had trouble, so I pre-drilled the holes. I took a drill bit that was thinner than the shaft of this nail and just drilled. You can see I've got some extra holes on here because this was my trial one so we have to try you can just see a little hole here and there's one here you only take the drill bit down if you do find you need to use a drill bit use a fine drill bit and only go in just the smallest amount just to give yourself the opportunity to get your nails started okay then you will follow your pattern all the way around everywhere you see a dot on here that's pretty much where you need a nail you should have more than enough nails in your pot once you've got them all on there then you need to pull your paper off if you start stringing it and you haven't taken your paper off guess what you have a problem so the easiest thing to do I found is to either get a pair of scissors and cut the paper and then pull it out 
or use an X-Acto knife. You may need to use some tweezers because when you get in between these thinner parts here, it sometimes gets caught. So, but you'll get it, you'll figure it out. So once you've got that done, you've got your nails in, your paper's gone, then you start your stringing. Everybody gets a card with enough string on here to do your panda. Keep, if you need to make a copy of this, to keep as a reference point, do so before you start nailing it down. Make a copy, take a picture with your phone, something like that. Because then you'll be able to follow along and see where it's supposed to be black and where there's not supposed to be any string. So you take your string And you would just make a little slip knot here. Just loop it and pull it through. Like this. And then decide where you're going to start. If you're going to start here, you would go ahead and put that on there. You would pull it tight, maybe tie it again, just so that it's nice and tight. Okay, and then you start off by zigzagging. Let me bring this up. You're just going to zigzag back and forth, over and over and over and over. Just keep going all the way down. And then you come back on itself and you would zag it the other way. <laughs> so you zig one way and zag the other way. You just keep going until you've filled your whole thing in as much as you want to. You can, if you would like, before you get started on your zigging and your zagging, you can just do an outline so you know exactly where you're going. So you would just loop it on the first nail and you would just go all the way around all the way around just keep going tracing it all the way around the edge of your nails and then that way you have a silhouette of where you need to fill it in Okay, so you just keep doing that until you've filled all your little areas in. Tie it off. You can take a little dab of super glue wherever you've got your, um, your little edges there. You can go ahead and put a little dab of super glue underneath where the knot is and then you can cut the excess off really close to the knot so you've not got pieces of tails of string hanging all over the place. Okay, now the other thing I did, because these are so shiny, it just didn't look right. They stood out too much. So I took some black paint, just some ordinary black acrylic paint, just like this, a normal acrylic paint, and I dabbed every nail head with a little bit of black paint just to subdue it. And I think it looks kind of cute. So that's your nail art. It does take time. If you can, spread it out. Don't try and do it all at once. Um, you may get a little bit uh, frustrated if you try and do it all at the same time. So have fun.